Hey you guys, uh, Steve Whipple, Whip Fit Maui, uh, with a message that I haven't uh, said in a while. And uh, I just taught uh, beach yoga this morning and I thought I should uh, repeat this message. Uh, you do not have to be good at yoga to do it. And guys do yoga all the time. A lot of people that take my class call what I teach uh, broga. Broga, B-R-O-G-A. Um, it's just stretching, you know? Uh, the biggest thing that happens is a lot of people come in and they immediately tell me that they're not gonna be good at this, that they don't do yoga, and uh, they're not gonna, <laughs> not gonna look very good. And my the whole thing is, it doesn't matter, just do it. Uh, when I first started taking yoga, uh, I hated it. I hated it so much. I couldn't do anything, um, I wasn't flexible. Uh, I hated the class, I hated everyone next to me, I hated the instructor, and no one ever said it was okay to not be perfect. Um, so that's the message I try to carry all the time, is that you don't have to be perfect, you actually don't at all. Um, if you keep doing it, you will get better at it, even if, in spite of yourself, even if you don't want to. I'm trying to find the best light here. That's kind of nice. So just keep doing it. The more you do it, the better you will get at it. Um, the number one reason people check into assisted living as we get older is a twofold thing. One is they can't lift themselves off of something, unfortunately, including the toilet. And two, two, is uh, balance. Once they get up, their balance isn't as good as it used to be. And yoga helps with that. So for nothing else, keep doing yoga because you want to be independent and uh, mobile as long as you can. So there's my little speech about yoga. Just come and do it. It doesn't matter if you do it right because you can't do it wrong as long as there is no pain. And uh, you don't have to let us know that you're not going to be good at it. We know. <laughs> Love you guys. Have a great day. Aloha.